Welcome to the Afterspan, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Becky Gray and Cash Michaels. State Auditor Beth Wood recently reported that two contractors who tow, store, and supposedly auction off cars seized from impaired drivers and people who run from law enforcement officials can't account for 234 vehicles. Now, the auditor said it was a, a risk that these contractors inappropriately, it was a, there is a risk that these contractors inappropriately benefited from the contract. Uh, what's your reaction to this story and what, if any, action should be taken against these contractors, Becky? I think the action that should be taken is they should find those 234 vehicles who benefited from, where's the, where's the money if somebody sold, sold the cars? I me? Mean, I've got to hand it to Beth Wood. She did another excellent audit looking at this. She asked good questions, got to the, I, I hope, the bottom of it. I mean, this was during a relatively short amount of time that these cars came up missing. It kind of made me think, is this the end of it? Were there more previously to this? Was it only just in this very short time frame? She didn't um, say, but she implied that this wasn't just sloppy record keeping. Well, and I, in the responses, you know, she um, submitted questions and um, requests for additional information from these car dealers, and one of them at least was not very cooperative at all. Um, so I don't know that this is the end of it. That so we've Cash seen. Michaels, uh, at the, at the least, should they lose these? Should they these contracts be voided? Should oh, there I, be any action about this? Oh, absolutely. And I'm, 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 I thought I heard the total amount of money uh, for those 234 vehicles upwards in a couple of hundred thousand dollars, if I'm That's not mistaken. What, I, I think you're right, Cash. Well, I'd like to see the, the the agreement with the state between the state and 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 these um, these towers. Um, how is that written? You know, one thing about folks who are finaglers, they, they know where the loopholes are. They, they know how to get around what the rules are supposed to be. Clearly, they feel that like they did it and they got, they're getting away with something and there's very little the state can do about it. I would hope and pray that not just Beth, Beth Wood, but the uh, state attorney general's office gets involved with this and, and, and runs these people to court and gets the people get the people's money. Well, and to make it even worse, as I understand it, the proceeds, and, and Cash, you're right, I mean, it was hundreds of thousands of dollars that these cars were worth, that the proceeds were supposed to go to the State Board of Education right. or, you know, to the Education Department. So it, it makes me mad that these people took advantage of these state contracts, but it really makes me mad that they took the money that was intended for education, for teachers to put books in our schools and, and to benefit our classrooms rather than who knows what happened to it. I do think we can all agree kudos to Beth Woods. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Beth Wood. yes. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.